Hey guys, Blue97 with 3D8 here, and today I wanted to share some newly released information considering Metal Gear Solid Ground Zeroes, the prequel to Metal Gear Solid 5 and what might be one of the best looking games to be released on next gen consoles. And before you ask, no. The news isn't good. According to Game Informer in their latest issue covering everything Ground Zeroes related, the game's great. I'd expect nothing less from Kojima since I've been a fan of his ever since I played the first Metal Gear Solid at a friend's house. The controls seem nice, the Fox engine is amazing, and the classic sense of Metal Gear gameplay flows throughout with a few modern functions added. Ahem, <laughs> regenerating health. From the story setup of learning what happened after Peace Walker, how Mother Base was destroyed, and how Big Boss finally rises up into the villainous role people portray him as, it all sounds great. But here's the catch. The campaign is two hours long. Game Informer wrote specifically through Kotaku that, judging just by the core story mission, Ground Zeroes is short. We completed it in just less than two hours. Two. Hours. I know this is like a tech demo showing off how the Fox engine runs on all consoles and that it's to satisfy the burning desire everyone has for Metal Gear Solid 5, but two hours? If you ask me, that doesn't sound like a $40 purchase. They stated, however, the extra ops portion of the game tacks on a couple more hours of gameplay. But how much is a couple of hours? The Game Informer demo lasted 4 hours, which allowed them to play the entire campaign and mess around in extra ops and the other content put in the game. So, are we talking 2 more hours, or is there more deaths to Ground Zeroes than we're all being rused into believing? In my opinion, I kinda saw this coming. Ground Zeroes is like the appetizer to the full-on all-you-can-eat meal known as Metal Gear Solid V. It's meant to leave a good taste in your mouth, then leave you to discuss how good it was with your peers until the main course arrives. Hell, that's the reason you can get a digital copy for it with 20 bucks on the PS3 and 360, and 30 bucks for digital editions on Xbox One and PS4. But does a two hour campaign mean the game's gonna be bad? Hell no! In fact, Ground Zero's story might just benefit from a short campaign. I mean, this is basically along the lines of having Metal Gear Solid 2's Tanker incident, just as a separate disc and months prior to the game being released. If you don't feel like spending a lot of money on this, but still want to play it, just get a digital copy. It's $10 off, and I can guarantee you it'd be worth every penny. If you just want to wait to see if there's a bundle of Ground Zeroes and Metal Gear Solid 5 sometimes in the future, then I advise you just hold off on this one. You'll just have to wait much longer than two hours to experience what Next Gen really has to offer. All I'm hoping is that the two hours aren't all cutscenes. Anyway, if you liked this video, slam that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe if you haven't already for more gaming news. This is Boo97388 signing off.